All right, so let's uh, review module six and see what you had to do last week. So go back into Blackboard, go to modules, go to module six, more CSS basics. That was the title of the module. And really, in this uh, particular module, there was nothing necessarily specific about this, um, but we just added on more properties, right? More CSS for you to kind of put in your bag of tricks. Um, we did, however, talk about something called the box model, which is um, really important. Um, and every element really has this box model, although not every element is using every single part of that box model. Um, it is there, okay? And we can use it to do whatever it is that we'd like um, okay, with that box model. So we have what? Uh, height, width. Uh, margin, we have border, and we have padding, right? And they all uh, go in a particular order. All right, we also talked a little bit about centering our page, right? So not centering each element, but centering the page as a whole. And I think I believe we did that in our, our case study, right? So that was kind of nice. Uh, we applied some shadows. We talked about rounded corners. And then other ways we can apply color, specifically transparencies, right? And we have like three terms that we throw around that basically mean the same thing, right? Opacity, alpha, and transparency. Um, and those three things, right, all mean the ability to see through, right, a particular color, okay? Uh, and then, of course, yeah, talking about gradients, which is really nice. We no longer have to use graphics to create a gradient on our pages, okay? So, which is very, very nice, okay, as well as, well as rounded corners. Uh, in the olden days, right, we used to use graphics to create a simulated rounded corner uh, with a graphic. So, pretty interesting. All right, uh, so it was module six. You had three assignments. You had a lab, a quiz, and then the site map, which was, uh, I think, the third milestone of your project. All right, uh, your key concepts were there. I uh, uploaded and posted the videos. Uh, you had a series of tutorials for module six. Oop, there they are right there. Right? And although the chapter didn't specifically talk about comments, that is HTML comments, I wanted to include them because I think they are important and we definitely want to include them uh, in our pages okay, where necessary. Uh, I believe uh, in chapter five, I believe, um, we discussed uh, CSS comments. Right? So now we know how to actually comment both CSS and HTML and I will be expecting those uh, as we, you know, move forward. So you'll probably see that in my feedback uh, for Module 6. Okay. All right, uh, what else? Uh, okay, student files are there. Of course, we haven't really changed their lab software. If you're not using something other than a text editor at this point, I recommend that you really seriously consider it because as we move on and we add more and more complexity to our pages, it's going to be a lot easier if you're working with a code editor than if you're working with simply a text editor. Okay. So think about it. Think, go, to back, go back to chapter four and I give you a list of ones that you can uh, consider using. Okay. All right, uh, so your first assignment was a lab, so let's take a look at what that was. Of course, we're still working on the case study. We'll do this throughout the whole semester. Uh, and there really wasn't anything new per se. You had four pages and we still have four pages. Index, yurts, activities, and uh, the Pacific CSS file, we simply applied what we learned in the chapter to the case study. What did we do? I think we applied, um, let's see, we centered, I think, our project. We removed those basic square graphics, I think, with nice horizontal graphics. Is that correct? Right? Okay. Uh, anything else that we did? Right, some, yeah, a gradient, I believe. We added some shadow. Um, so, yeah, just so we did apply some of those things we learned. Uh, in the chapter, so that's uh, really important uh, and good stuff. Okay. All right, any questions about the lab specifically or generally? All right. Uh, let's see, you had a quiz, 10 minutes, 10 questions. For the most part, everyone's doing fairly well on these. Um, I think this uh, module six, we had four questions that uh, were 100%, so everyone who received that question uh, got it right, so that's kind of nice to see. Okay. And then we had uh, the site map. So let's take a look at the site map. That was, uh, I believe, the third 
milestone in our project. All right, so we're right here, or I should say we were right at the site map last week. Okay, right at the site map last week. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. In the site map instructions were to uh, create a site map for your project. I gave you two ways uh, to create them and one way to submit them. So you were to uh, create them one way by using a graphics application of your choice. It could have been Word, it could have been PowerPoint, it could have been uh, uh, Illustrator, anything you thought would be useful that you are aware of that would create uh, a map for us. And then, of course, you'd have to publish that out. So in some cases, you'd have to export it in a format that you can then upload and publish to the web, right? Whether it be PDF, whether it be graphical-based, Whatever it is that you wanted, uh, it was really a, a graphic, really, and a PDF would have worked as well. Right? Uh, your other option was using a web-based um, application or tool. In this case, I provided you with Gliffy as the tool to introduce you to these kinds of tools that are on the web. Um, and this uh, tool gave, gave you free, I believe it's, uh, I don't know if they've gone back to the time anymore. Before it used to be like you got a month free, then it was like two weeks free, then it was three days for free. And I think they moved to a uh, three pages or something like that for free. So I uh, can't keep up uh, with their, uh, their licensing changes. But you do get uh, a free account that you can create a couple of these or a few of these uh, flow charts or a site map. I'm assuming you'll be using this, if you've used Gliffy, for your wireframe as well. So it's just a logical choice. Okay. All right, so these are your two ways to create. And then the one way to submit was really to submit the URL uh, of that work that you created, right? So whether you created your own uh, using a tool, right, and you uploaded it, you provide me the URL. If you use Gliffy, you provided me with a publicly available link, right? If it's part of Gliffy, you just got to kind of look for it. Okay. Any questions, issues, problems with the sitemap? Again, this has already been graded. Uh, I posted everybody's link to everybody's sitemap. Uh, so if you want to check out other people's projects, um, you can, or at least their sitemaps for their projects, you can. Questions? OK. So that was the sitemap, and that was the third assignment uh, for module six. Any questions? Okay, let's go here and check this out.